and President William Ruta has called for an immediate cessation of hostilities in the neighboring Sudan. According to the head of state, the five conflict in Sudan has so far seen 270 lives lost, property destroyed, civilians displaced, as well as diplomatic installations and personnel attacked. The president has said there is a real danger of the conflict evolving into a threat to regional and international peace. David Muthoka reports. The deteriorating situation in Sudan. In a recorded video from State House Nairobi, President William Ruto on Wednesday evening came out to condemn the ongoing conflict in neighboring Sudan between the Sudan Armed Forces and a paramilitary group known as the Rapid Support Forces RSF. The conflict entered its fifth day today and has so far seen more than 270 people killed, thousands more injured, civilians displaced, as well as diplomatic installations and personnel attacked with no sign of a ceasefire in sight yet. President Ruto, who is among three heads of state initially picked by the Intergovernmental Authority on Development, IGAD, to broker peace in the country, has said that there is a real danger of the escalating hostilities evolving not only into a security and humanitarian crisis, but also into a threat to regional peace. Ruto has called for the resumption of dialogue. Kenya is deeply alarmed that a misunderstanding over a single outstanding item in the political framework agreement, namely the time frame for the integration of the rapid support forces into the Sudan armed forces, has degenerated into violent conflict. The president described the attacks on members of the diplomatic community and civilians in general as an emerging pattern of systematic violation of international humanitarian laws which should not be tolerated. There is real danger that the escalation of hostilities in Sudan could implicate external, regional and international actors and degenerate into a security and humanitarian crisis on a disastrous scale. President Ruto implored upon the leadership of the Sudan Armed Forces and the Rapid Support Forces to fully comply with the resolutions of the IGAD Heads of State Summit held on Sunday last week, which called for cessation of hostilities and resumption of dialogue. This includes an immediate cessation of hostilities, allowing unrestricted humanitarian access and extending full cooperation to the IGAD Heads of State mission when it visits Khartoum. And in an appeal to the international community, the president said it is critical for international actors such as the UN, the AU and IGAD that have been involved in supporting the restoration of civilian rule in Sudan to act with urgency. The United Nations, Africa Union, IGAD and all the other stakeholders for the Sudan must lead a process that extends beyond mere cessation of hostilities towards the restoration of sustainable peace, security and stability. David Muthoka, KTN News, Nairobi. And Russian President Vladimir Putin announced that Russia will station tactics.